What is it that attracts a, a Filipina? Is it the money? Or is it the muscle? <laughs> or maybe it's your feminine side. Jack, I'll never let go. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back to the channel. You're here with Dan and Jan. Today, I just wanted to share some thoughts on what I believe attract a Filipina or any woman for that matter to any particular man. Now, before I dive right on in, uh, just remember this is my take on it from my direct experience with my wife. And of course yours could be very different. So ladies and gentlemen, feel free to chime in with your thoughts in the comment section below. Now I found that at the core, um, women, especially Filipinas, appreciate simplicity. Um, no need for complicated stuff, just be real. Of course there are expectations, but simplicity and authenticity will really get you a long way. Now, let's talk about the more traditional uh, side of marriage, particularly in the Philippines and the expectations that would come with that. Many Filipinas value a man who can handle family finances and make the big decisions, the important decisions, navigating and propelling the family forwards. But don't forget, it's about being a team player. Now, they're not asking you to stick to the old uh, roles, you know, cooking, cleaning, washing, etc. But it's about sharing the responsibilities and being partners in this journey we call life and that's all between the both of you to figure out what sort of setup works best for you confidence plays a role too i think and not the arrogant kind but the confidence that comes with knowing how to lead without being overbearing making decisions together and not dictating and there's a bit of an old school charm that they like um, many Filipinas appreciate the biblical structure of marriage. Decisions made together, right? Family as a cornerstone. It's about embracing roles, but with a modern touch, creating a partnership where both of you feel valued. Now I wanted to talk about what truly matters, right? And in my belief, it's not about looks or wealth. You don't have to look like Brad Pitt, although I'm sure that would be nice and Neither one would complain, but I don't get that luxury, unfortunately. I'm stuck with this, but it's about your kindness, being genuine, and also your level of intellect plays a big role too, I think. Yeah? I believe, yes. Like, for example, let's say, you know, your goals, your values, and your motivation is a big thing. See, you don't have to be the richest or the best looking. It's your heart that counts. And here's the big crux. This is the true key factor that I believe is the building block of any successful union, and that's putting your wife first, right? The success of any marriage, according to Genesis uh, chapter two, verse 24, is becoming one, one flesh. flesh. Therefore a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh, quote for quote. This insinuates the ritual of marriage as the forging of a single being, two in one, and placing the union above all else was paramount importance to God. And it's not something to be taken lightly. Now, <laughs> unlike our culture encourages today, um, it's a big problem in, in especially Western society. So I think marriage is about being there, not just financially, but really being there, present. Being a husband and father who's there to teach, to mentor, and to build a connection. Picture this, right? You don't mourn an ATM machine when it go, goes gets scrapped at the junkyard, right? Well, a husband or a father who's not present is a bit like that. It's not just about the money you provide. Although that's important, it's about the connection and the bond you build by 
being there. It's the legacy you leave behind. Now, money won't save a relationship if you're not physically present. Quality time. That's right. And <laughs> now, I know life throws challenges and sometimes working away is necessary. But if you're working away from family for extended periods of time, that to me raises a lot of red flags. Sure, providing is crucial, but being physically absent for weeks or months on end, uh, I think it can put strain on a marriage. It's like trying to build a house with one missing pillar. It's not gonna hold up for long. Uh, and masculinity, right, isn't just about money or muscles either. It's about confidence, a certain kind of confidence, uh, a leadership and being present. A Filipina, or any woman for that matter, and correct me if I'm wrong ladies, but she wants you. Not just your paycheck, she wants your attention, she wants your touch. So give and your her your understanding ear. too. That's right. Because we're coming from a different background. Yes. You know, and it's about finding balance, figuring out what really matters, and honestly guys, it's your responsibility, and trust me, you'll be better off for it. So guys, instead of focusing on things that don't build relationships, uh, video games. Look, I get it, they're fun. Um, but if your idea of a successful life is centered around video games um, and dreaming of winning the lottery, it's time for a reality check. It doesn't really say much about your character or your ability to hold down a relationship. Being a man isn't about scoring points in a game, it's about scoring points in life. You know, if your life revolves around virtual victories, it might be time to reconsider your priorities. So let's focus on being there, making a real connection, and being better partners. Your character matters a lot more than you think. Um, that's pretty much me done. Honey, is there anything else you'd like to say? I think you said it all, Mark. I think you said it all. Am I? Is there anything else you'd add, or is that pretty accurate, like coming from your perspective? Pretty accurate. I must just. I would just say that. Um, yeah, we both um, we came from a different world, and I think the uh, understanding with each other and adjusting to our, you know, um, differences. We do have differences. Of course, yeah. But what couple doesn't, right? Everybody has something that they disagree on, but it's about the compromise yeah. where you can both work it out together. Not it's my way or the highway, and I'm leaving. You know, and a lot of people, I think, they try to strong arm their partner. Um, if it's not my way, well, see how you go without me. And the reality is, yeah, you might be upset for a while, but they'll be fine. I think a relationship and marriage is not necessarily that you both need each other to survive. Nobody needs anybody to survive. But when you enter that commitment, you make a choice. And the choice is more important than, you know, your financial dependence on somebody or any kind of medical dependence on someone or whether you think you might survive without somebody else or not, I think it's the choice to love. Love isn't easy. It's not like a fairy tale where in the movies, you know, everybody ends up happily ever after. I think that marriage is the choice to love and to wake up with that person, to stay committed to them and make that decision every day until the end. Um, That's right. And putting your partner it's a first. Choice. You it's put, a daily choice. Yeah. I choose to love you and I choose to be with you. Yeah. And I think if you have that very one uh, foundation, that very one rule that you stick by, you can make it work with with the partner that you've chosen for your life. And, and don't give up. Don't give up. The butterflies, they do wear off. But what you build together, if you just look back and think of what you've been through, think of those experiences, it's, it counts for a lot and you know there are a lot of people that throw that away and i think end up regretting it in the future um, it's 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 quite sad to see and marriage now is just throw away you can go to a lawyer you can sign a divorce paper and you can just and yeah it's it's not the way it should be i don't think that's right at least in the philippines they don't there's no really such thing as divorce is there it's it's pretty frowned upon still yeah, it's highly frowned upon. Whereas in the Western right. world, it's pretty encouraged. Yeah, Multiple partners, different. you know. <laughs> Monogamy is not really, not a, not a key player in this world anymore. So, That's but, yeah, it's just a bit of food for thought, guys. Um, 
Anyway, stay tuned for more. Uh, we'll be sharing a few more of these discussions. If you like these kind of discussions that we're having, um, please let us know in the comments below. Like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more of this kind of content. But for now, this is the Castaway Couple signing off.